using the Pythagoras theorem in this triangle over here, you can easily solve r to be equal to by the equation 4 plus r whole squared equal to 4 squared plus 4 minus r whole squared r would turn out to be equal to 1 centimeter. Now let's draw the second semicircle. Again, the second semicircle is going to touch the other two circles. I mean the first semicircle and the second circle but is obviously not being able to touch the vertex because if it did touch the vertex then it would not touch the first semicircle but intersect. Let's call the radius of this semicircle as r. Now you've got this triangle and people are led to believe that this of course is 4 plus small r and then this there's this 4. This side people think is 4 minus r which it isn't. Then they think that it is 4 minus capital R which it again isn't. This length is not capital R. How, how do you find this one? So what we do is we join the two centers of these two semicircles. So this length is going to be capital R plus small r and let's call this length k. Using the Pythagoras theorem in this triangle you can find k in terms of small r because of course this is going to be 1 plus r whole squared is equal to 1 squared plus k squared. And now over here this side this remaining region length is going to be 4 minus k. Now using the Pythagoras theorem in this triangle you have 4 plus small r whole squared equal to 4 squared plus 4 minus k whole squared. Now you've got two equations, two unknowns. You can solve for k square, substitute k square in an equation that only has k square and r square you would finally end up with an r that I had previously calculated as 0.75069. There you go. Hello YouTubers, this is a new channel, Madam Visualizing Math, with the minimalistic setup so that we could give in more content and spend less time cutting editing and uh, graphics and all that shit so like subscribe share but above all let us know what you're having trouble with in mathematics and we'll make it easier for you